Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making rustic curtain rods that we used in our nursery and they uh, turn out quite nicely and um, let me show you how it goes. Let's start out by finding the right materials in the backyard. Make sure to find a branch that has a nice split in this for the curtain rod hangers and cut that off. Now what you have remaining is the curtain rod hanger and the curtain rod portion and cut down the curtain rod portion to what you need for your window. Now for the fun part, coffee and high speed whittling. To keep with the rustic look so the branch looks like it was cut down with an axe or gnawed off by a beaver even, um, I like to beat up the ends with my little hatchet until it's got just a nice tapered look and some good marks on it. Once you have debarked your branches, the hanger portion of for to hold up the curtain rod needs a flat side to mount to the wall. And to do this, I'm using the table saw. Use a jointer if you can, but I'm using my table saw. So what you need to do is run it through the saw, but you need to keep the hanger portion parallel to the table saw table so you get a nice perpendicular cut on the back side. And to make sure this is propped up a little bit, I'm just using a few sheets of scrap paper and that will hold it and give it enough flex so if it binds on the blade at all, it won't be a problem. Um, make sure to use your uh, safety gear uh, earplugs, safety glasses, and a uh, good head on your shoulders. Uh, if you are uncomfortable doing anything that I'm doing, do not do it. Be safe. straight cut it's a rustic piece so fairly is going to be okay it will lay flat against the wall and hang the curtain rod in here just nicely 
Now do these steps several times over. And remember, you have to do twice as many hangers as you do curtain rods. Here is the finished example in our nursery. To finish this project off, I used Danish oil on the wood surfaces to keep it protected and give it a nice rich color. Um, the hangers, I just used two inch screws into studs, but drywall anchors should work. And I routed a hole in the back of the curtain rod hanger to hang on the screw. But there are infinite solutions to that problem, so do what you want to hang them. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and I'll link to tools and products below. Thank you very much. Bye.